Welcome to our tutorial about the circular pattern tool. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at sketch patterns and feature patterns. Let's begin by shift selecting both rectangular patterns. I want to get rid of those. Let's right click and delete. Now let's activate the circular pattern tool. It's up here. First, we need a feature to pattern. Let's choose extrusion 2. Now we need an axis. Let's select this cylindrical face. Placement, number of instances, 5. Degrees of rotation, 180. And we're ready to click OK. Let's activate the tool again. For the feature to pattern, select Extrusion 2 and this cylindrical face. 90 degrees. 5 instances. Let's click OK. We've achieved the same results as in our previous tutorial on the Rectangular Pattern Tool. OK, let's shift select everything, right click and delete it. Now let's right click and suppress Extrusion 2. Right click, New Sketch. Let's take a front view and activate the Line tool. I'm going to start by creating a construction line. Right click, Done. Now let's add some dimensions. Activate the Dimension tool. The line will be 1 inch long. OK. Right click and done. And I'm going to place a point right here. Right click, done. Let's activate the circular pattern tool again. Under geometry to pattern, I'll select this point. The axis, let's make it this circular line. Number of instances, 5. Degrees of rotation, let's enter 180. Reverse the direction, and we're ready to click OK. Let's exit our sketch. Now let's activate the hole command. Under placement, let's choose from sketch. The holes are already pre-selected on our drawing. Let's use a simple drilled hole for this example. Click OK. Now let's right click and edit the sketch. Right click on any one of the points and select Edit Pattern. Let's use six instances over a 360 degree distribution. OK. And finish the sketch. As you may be noticing, we've got one hole missing. Let's go fix that. Right click, Edit Feature. Let's select this point and click OK. All right, let's delete hole one and delete the sketch as well. Now let's create a new sketch. Right click, New Sketch. Activate the Line tool. Right click, Done. Now let's dimension the line. It's going to be one inch. OK. And let's exit the sketch. Now we're ready to activate the hole command. Placement from Sketch. I'm going to use this point and click OK. Let's take a home view. Activate the Circular Pattern tool. Feature to Pattern. Let's choose Hole 2. For the axis, let's select this cylindrical face. Number of instances, 6. Distributed along 360 degrees. Click OK. As you can see, there's plenty more than one way to build something in Inventor. The more comfortable you are with the tools, the more flexibility you'll have in determining which methods work best for your projects. This concludes our tutorial about the Circular Pattern Tool.